A wet start to fall 2015. Flooding on Wednesday, more rain today. Some are still cleaning up as even more water continues to pool. Good evening, I'm John Nicely. Mallory is on assignment tonight. Our top story tonight, we are saturated. Mother Nature relentless. The rain we've seen so far, record breaking. At this time yesterday, we reported the rainfall at the airport had topped five inches. When it was all said and done, that number settled in at 5.74 inches. In fact, our meteorologists crunched the numbers. It has settled in as the fourth wettest day on record. And what's more, we're closing in on a new number, nine inches. That's how far we are above average rainfall for the year. Today, WWT 6 News' Brandon Scott bet people who have been hit the hardest as he found along the Elkhorn River that water levels are getting dangerously high. Officials have actually locked the gates to the access points here at the Elkhorn River. That means no boating, no tubing, because officials say this river is moving so fast, conditions are extremely perilous. One look at the river and you can see just how full it is and how fast it's flowing. The result of up to eight inches of rain dumped by these recent storms. Storms which started as a tropical depression in the Pacific before moving west and drilling down on the metro. Hardest hit, Council Bluffs, where basement after basement flooded. Some homes are a total loss. Today, we met Jeff Adrian cleaning up his basement after nearly four feet of water destroyed everything inside. But his flood insurance won't cover the damage. Nothing's covered at all. Why is that? What have they it's, said? It's not a flood. Adrian's house was flooded by the rain, and his insurance will only cover flood damage if a body of water overflows, like a river. Back here along the Elkhorn River, officials say that they will keep these access points closed until they determine the river is safe again. Reporting in Elkhorn with photographer M.H. Danker, I'm Brandon Scott, WWT 6 News.